This episode of Fine Scale Modeler's new product rundown features ICM's Cobra, Zvezda's Hind, and Tacom's Panzer Ones. New product rundown brought to you by HobbyZone USA, your source for hobby storage solutions, hard to find hobby tools, and aftermarket modeling needs. Welcome to the new product rundown, Fine Scale Modeler's monthly look at what's new. I'm Top Banana, Elizabeth Nash. <laughs> I'm Aaron Skinner. We've got a show that should especially appeal to helicopter fans, so let's dive right in with ICM's 132nd scale AH-1G Cobra. Developed during the Vietnam War as a dedicated attack helicopter, the AH-1G was put into service in 1967. This is the first all-new tool 132nd scale Cobra since Ravel released one in 1967. The fuselage surface detail is stunning, combining fine recessed panel lines and fasteners up front with raised rivets on the tail boom. The separate tail fin attaches with a long internal tab, making alignment a snap. Optional parts indicate later production versions of the Cobra are planned. The belly is separate, as is the nose. A pair of short stabilizers finish the airframe. Cockpit detail includes a tub with molded floor and side console details, rear bulkhead, multi-part seats with separate cushions, shoulder armor plates, collective and cyclic controls, weapon controls, and front and rear instrument panels. While engine detail is limited to the exhaust, the reduction gearbox is here, along with the rotor head hydraulic actuators and the intake, inside compartments, that can be displayed with posable hatches. The main rotor has nicely molded blades that are sandwiched between rotor head halves that then mount on a shaft. The tail rotor is a single part. Sturdy tabs and locators hold the landing skids. They can be fitted with wheels and a tow bar. This is an attack helicopter, so let's talk weapons. Optional chin turrets allow for one or two M134 miniguns to be fitted. The stub wings, two pylons, can be fitted with M18 gun pods and several sizes of rocket pods. Clear plastic provides lights, the nose glazing, and a canopy. The opening sections are posable. Decals provide markings for four AH-1Gs, three in overall dark green, and one in green and sand. There's plenty of detail and options in ICM's Big Cobra, and it'll be impressive when it's done. Sticking with helicopters, but on the other side of the Cold War divide, here's Zvezda's 148 scale Mi-24P. This version of the Soviet attack helicopter dropped the chin turret in favor of a pair of fixed 30 millimeter cannons on the starboard side. This is the second version of Zvezda's hind, and it looks like another outstanding kit. Surface detail is extremely fine recessed panel lines. The body is divided into the boom and cargo area and the cockpit section, including a separate underside with a detailed nose gear bay and the bay for the cannon. These parts are new for this version. Cockpit detail comprises tub, seats, walls, front, and rear instrument panels and controls. Pilots are provided. It is separated from the troop compartment by a short passage to the front bulkhead. The rest of the compartment detail includes the ceiling, rear bulkhead, seats, and framing for the walls. The doors can be posed open or closed. Also visible through posable hatches are the engines, reduction gearbox, and fire extinguisher bottles in a compartment over the cabin. Optional IR suppressors can be fitted to the exhausts. The main rotors have molded sag that attach to the rotor head and mast. The tail rotor is a single part. The nose and main gear, as well as numerous antennas and optional countermeasure dispensers, finish the basic chopper. To load up the pylons on the stub wings, the kit provides rocket pods, 9K114 Sturm anti-tank missile tubes, UKP23 gun pods, and 500 liter fuel tanks. Clear plastic provides lights and cabin windows, as well as the canopy, parts of which can be posed open. Decals provide stencils and markings for five Heinz, a Soviet machine in Afghanistan in 1989, and Russian helicopters at a training base and in Syria. The last two options are an East German aircraft in 1988 and a Hungarian MI-24 in 2019. Zvezda's MI-24 is nice and goes together with good fits and details, according to Tom Fody's review of the initial kit. Next from Tacom, we have a dual 135th scale kit 
featuring the Panzer I Ausführung A and Ausführung B. What you get here is the initial Panzer I that was found to be underpowered and prone to overheating. And the follow-up B version, which used the turret and superstructure from the A on a longer Holland chassis. As you would expect, some of the parts are common between the versions, including the turret, hatches, transmission covers at the bow, tools, drive sprockets, idlers, return rollers, road wheels, and much of the tracks. The differences show up with the short hull of the Aus A and the long hull of the Aus B. Both are marked by petite raised rivets, recessed panel lines, and weld seams. Differences are also noted in the upper hulls. The shorter A has a smaller transmission hatch, two separate engine hatches, and a center vent. The B has a large double engine hatch and an off-center engine grill. Other parts specific to the OSFE are fenders with molded non-skid, bogies, engine armor plates, exhausts, and more. The B is provided with longer fenders, different exhausts, bogies, idlers, an extra road wheel, and extra tracks. Photo etch brass provide rims for the wheels and exhaust shields. The decals give markings for four Ausführung A's and four Ausführung B's, most in early gray and brown camouflage, in Poland and France in 1939 and 1940. 1A is a desert camouflage tank in Libya in 1941. Tacom's Panzer I's look good and should go together easily. It's really neat to be able to see the differences between the variants. Look for reviews of the Cobra and Panzer I at finescale.com, where you can also see more new products, get some great how-to advice, and of course, watch some more videos. And while you're there, stop by the combathobbystore.com where you can pick up tools and other modeling supplies, including these terrific sets from Pan Pastel. We have rust and earth, grays, grimes, and soot, and metallics. Each set comes with applicators. Thanks for watching. I'm Elizabeth Nash. And I'm Aaron Skinner. Apparently, I play a modeler on TV. The separate tail fin attaches with a long internal tab, making alignment a snap. Optional parts. What the f Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>